Let's create a group and add some users and remove some users from that group. First, let's check the list of users that we have. Now we have these users, right? Let's say we want to add this FTP user to a group called uh, developers, all right? So first, let's create the group. Now, if you are not the root user, I am the root user here. If you're not the root user, make sure, sure you add sudo in front of these commands. So I'll just write the command group add and I'll call it developers. Hit enter and our developers group is now created. Now to add FTP users to this group developers, what we do is a simple command that is user mod. So write user mod and then write A for append and then C for group and we add to the group developers we add ftp user hit enter now ftp user is added to developers group so what you can do is you can do id ftp user hit enter now you can see the details as you can see the user id is 1002 and group id is 1002 and this ftp user is in these two groups there is ftp user that is the default group that is created when you create this user and we just added ftp user to developers so ftp user is also in the developers group now we know that ftp user is, is in these two groups right so how do we remove this ftp user from developers now again you just do the you move the a for append and after this whatever groups you have here is the only groups that the ftp user will be in if i just write ftp user so it means that this ftp user will only be in ftp user group and it will be removed from or he'll be removed from all those other groups so you type g and you enter all the groups you you want here and then the username here and then hit enter and let's again check the id of this ftp user and as you can see the only group this user is in is the default group for this user that is ftp user so this is how you can create groups and add users to that group and remove users from that group if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.